This episode is brought to you by our good friends at Squarespace. Literally 6 a.m. Just got to a table. There's kind of like PS2, PS3 games lying around. Gauntlet, Seven Sorrows, right there, already laying out Army Men 3D. Sitting on the front of the table until you like to start your day. <music> 6 a.m. at the swap meet, and we're digging. We're digging, we're digging, we're digging. We go back to this booth, and I'm talking the booth that we have had two weeks in a row seeing the crazy, all the crazy stuff that's like from old, this, this guy named John Hora, he has all this crazy stuff. He was a movie producer, worked with like the Grammys, a ton of different things like that. And I start digging and I start to see some more grails, more Mattel rare VHS promos. These were for commercials back in the day. They would submit them, use them to submit commercials in the 90s for Nickelodeon, Mattel, different things like that. I found it and my favorite thing that I found by far was this old store display for Blondie. It was one of those displays that they would put up where you could like enter to win and submit to do a contest to meet Blondie or something like that, but it was never opened. This guy had all different stuff in his locker from different places that were people where they would submit stuff to music records and record studios and promotional record stuff. That's the kind of stuff I love to see because you can't find it. Starting off this morning, freaking more holy grails. Suck it, Game Chasers. Why are we competing with the Game Chasers? I love them. This place always has super cool stuff, but come look at this, Ricky. Christmas Carol. The, the soundtrack. This is the soundtrack for it. And guys, this all comes from the original. This guy named John Hora. He worked for like the Academy and a bunch of different stuff. This is all his original stuff. Check it out. Another Mattel VHS promo. That's okay. Those are highly, highly rare and highly, highly valuable. Uh, another thing that's really cool, Sphere. Remember the movie Smear? Sphere? I yep. said Smear. That's the whole press. Look at it. Look who's in it. Ready? Come on, bro. Samuel L. Ooh. That's good right there. And by far the coolest thing, I'm going to show over there. Here is that Blondie thing, by the way. Eat to the beat in Paris. Blondie contest. There's all the prizes. You can, I guess, go eat with them. Second prize is a video sensation of the decade. 11 third prizes. Here's all the little cards to enter the raffle. Nobody ever opened this. I love freaking crap like this. Let's freaking go. Ricky, what'd you get? All right, so I got Green Goblin from the original, ba uh, the, I was gonna say original Batman, it's original Spider-Man. Uh, I actually really like this. I looked them up, they're actually quite, quite crazy. This is pretty cool. It's the Amazing Spider-Man Keepsake Collection. Comic images, it's really dope. And then Twisted helped me get this, this uh, Pokemon Game Boy camera. I was about to say Pokemon camera. It is too early right now. But it's a great day so far. Right, Twisted? Yup. Good day, all, like always. Well, what's happening? What's happening? There's just a bunch of Blu-rays over here. And gamers. Oh, come on, be in there. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yes. what is in there? Cool. Very rarely. Oh, seriously? Games have the games in there. <laughs> I'm gonna see how much. Rebo. Yes. Use the four. Oh. These are the good ones. Look, kill them. Have yeah. you had these ones? Kill them. When they're heavy, that means it's good. <laughs> oh, baby. Ricky, yo, buying all those? Well, they're three bucks each. <laughs> look, look at all this. So you got aliens. You got for my kids. 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 Oh, it. <laughs> so bought all of them with Splatoon 2 for 40 bucks. It was, I mean, I couldn't say no. He, he knocked off even more. I was like, dude, you're awesome. He's like, you guys always say you guys are you guys are good friends. I'm like, I like it. I love it. You just found this for how much? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yes, sir. There you go, viewers. Yeah. It is not just us. Quit saying it's just us. It's there you go, dude. Uh -huh, man. Wow. Dude. And then look what Ricky just got. Shima Monino. Is that from you? Wait, wait, wait. That is from you. It's me. from me and Jacob. Mostly. Oh, where is he? Why? Asleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as you should be. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Saget, what does Saget say? Tiger! <laughs> no? Yeah, uh, Ricky, thank you. Close, thank close, you. close, close. 
Make sure you guys stick around because today I have something going on with Gabo. We have a special deal going on. I can't say it yet, but it's a big, big buyout, big trade for one specific game that I'm using for some specific things. Just, just hold on to your horses. It's coming. Like Ricky. You'll pay me $5 more? Okay. That's 305. 305. Do I hear 306? Gabo? <laughs> By his power combined, he is Ricky Planet. I have the power. Twisted almost found something cool. A fair child? Wow. A fair child freaking game case only for this. I mean, maybe the game could be around? I know these are valuable. So we arrive at the booth of booths. And I've seen the comments, and so has Dusty. We arrive at Dusty's booth. And we know he waxes us. Sometimes we pay a little too high. He knows that. We're, this is what we do. This is how business works. We keep the rotation going. We got YouTube. We got everything. We keep it going. But at his booth, he has toys. And I'll be honest, I haven't been excited about toys in quite a while. Let's see what kind of garbage Dusty brought us <laughs> today. I'm ready to be. A lot of trash, Are you gonna wax me again today? Oh yeah, bro. Okay. That's okay. the words on the street, huh? I charge you too much. That's, that's what they're saying in the comments, but whatever. It is that's what good, it is. Though. <laughs> they don't know how a uh, business works. That's very true. Uh, gotta... Oh look. Oh, I just helped you. I saved Pokemon. The toys he has are toys that I'm excited about. And I haven't been about excited about toys in a while. Foxes, Peter Pan, and the Pirates. I love that show. That show goes deep. Skeleton Warriors. You don't hear, hear people talking about Skeleton Warriors. But most importantly, you see Monster Force. 1994 show, animated, beautiful intro. I think with no words, by the way. Jared is probably throwing it in there. But just such a cool, unique toy, different lines to find here. This makes me happy. This is the kind of hunting that I like to do. It makes me excited to hunt and just be thrilled about what I'm freaking finding. I want to show you guys what I just found at Dusty's booth. So, a okay. lot of people, do you know Monster Force? No, I didn't. It's an old that. animated cartoon. Really? A and I this recently, 90s? I really recently saw Retro Rick pick these up. So I looked up the cartoon and I fell in love with kind of what it is. You know I love my horror this stuff. So, you got Monster Force, Monster Force, Skeleton Warriors, underrated. Fox's Peter Pan the Pirates was legit a good cartoon. I'm telling you, a lot of heartfelt moments in this show. A lot of deep dives into and stuff. The NES game is good too. The NES game is fun. More Monster Force, more Skeleton Warriors, more Skeleton Warriors. Okay, that's two different ones of Dagger and Dr. Cyborg, so that's okay. And then a little Batman the Animated Series. Oh my God. And I'm not super like Pretty knowledgeable cool. about little Dracula, if I'm honest. I'm not. But these are cool. Let's see. Let's see how bad Dusty waxes me. Well, he's known to be the waxer. Dusty, what's the wax price? Wax on or wax off? Hopefully wax off today. Hey, hey uh, aren't you that guy we wanted on the Pixel podcast? <laughs> not, not me. It's not me. It's this guy. <laughs> it's this guy. I told Curtis text the Camel Crew boys and I met Austin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, Austin was busy, so they got me. All right, Dusty. Wax on, wax Don't wax me off. too hard. Oh, yeah. All right. They say I always burn you. Dude. I, they do. That was the comment in the last video. Was, Bro, the only reason Dusty holds stuff for you guys is because you guys are the only one who pays him that much. <laughs> we know. We're aware. Give me 80 bucks. What is that each? Uh, less than ten dollars. Seven, eight, nine. What's the price? Who's smart? Is that like nine dollars, eight dollars, something like that? Seventy bucks. <laughs> Seventy bucks. All right. Let's go. I don't, I don't even know if that's good. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> and in go the toys. Who knows Little Dracula? Anybody? No? Who knows Monster Force? 1994 short-lived animated show. Amazing. Skeleton Warriors. Monster Force. Foxes. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Skeleton Warriors. Skeleton Warriors. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Susan. Harvey Weinstein. Ow. <laughs> Are you okay? I got one thing. I want two bills for it. Oh. Oh. Make him pay. Make him pay. Sorry. It's 2023. Disaster Gabo. What? There's, there's no more Disaster Ricky. Whatever. Walked in this booth and I, I think Riff spotted it first. Like, Ricky, I know you're gonna like this. He, there was a cool little A-team, like baggy pencil, whatever that was. Awesome because I love A-team. Something about Mr. Mr. Yeah, Mr. T and that van. I still want one of those vans from the A-team, but dang, that was a good buy. I love A-team. So good. I already know Ricky's gonna like this. Ricky, right. watch. I will. Oh man, it's working. You're gonna what is like it? this. Oh. 
That's so cool. That is so cool. Dude, that is so cool. We got the A team here. We got the A team. We got the A team pencil case, and we got the A team pixel game squad. There you go. Let's go. Intro to every video. That is I like this, believe it or not. That is sick. That is really sick. I just didn't want people to mess them up. Yeah. How much, Ricky? You know you want to ask. I do want to ask. How much for Mr. T, A team, Pat? I don't know. For everyone else? I feel, I'm feeling kind of like the $5 range. $5 Ooh. range? Yeah. I'm in. How much for the glow, glow stink bug? Scumbag. I mean, scumbag. I'm feeling about. The five dollar range. There you go. Yeah, we got that's what I like. It. We got a theme going. We got a theme going. Glow scumbag. <laughs> it's the what? Oh, scumbag. Oh no, uh, no, skunk bug, not the scumbag. Oh, not okay. The I feel like train sets are one thing that everybody knows about in this scene, but I don't. I really feel like all I know is Lionel is the popular name and Tycho, and I got to do some research at some point. Ricky, look at this, bro. Shima, Shima Monino. Did you see the one right here? Old Kamikaze? What's that one? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that Meltdown. one's sick. Meltdown. Yo, that one's fire. Literally. Ooh, look at these. These are nice. These are nice. Oh, it's our homie. Dude, this is super rad. I love display items that are still unused. Well, it's been used, but it's not broken down. Has the kickstand on the back. Pet Boys instant credit. Manny Mo and Jack. So rad. I mean, also check this out, guys. Painter hat for Ario Speedwagon. What? Let's freaking go. I was looking through shirts, and there's a few in here that I like. Like, I really like this Tom and Jerry one. It's not single stitch, but it is on Tom and Jerry tag. But, dude, I used to rock the heck out of Rude Dog back in the day. Look at this 1989 front and back. Super good fade. Like, that is a fade of fades. Single stitch, 20 bucks. Look at this whole outfit. I'm getting this with the REO Speedwagon with these right there. 40 bucks for everything. Let's go. Show me what this is. Camel Crew Austin just picked this up. Academy Players Directory from 1970. Yeah, leading men, younger leading men, characters, and... Wow, what do we got in here? Let's see. It's like their contact information. Oh, Bob yeah. Crane, Hogan's Heroes. John Crawford. Wow. Yeah, it's like whoever signed up. This is so cool. Dude, my dad would love going Anthony through Perkins, this. Rock Peters. Uh, it's a killer mock. Yeah, here. dude. Wow, this is actually rad. Dude, John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> I met this guy in a Disneyland bathroom once. John really? Yeah. Zipping up. <laughs> Oh, that's bathroom. awesome. <laughs> dude, that is rad, dude. Like I said, man, like I said, my dad will really enjoy this. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Oh, you got both of them? There we go, all five. Shit, all five? Yeah. Let's go, dude. Jack Nicholson is in one of these. Jack Nicholson's in one of them? That's yeah. awesome. Any Harvey stuff? <laughs> uh, I think it's before his time, thank God. <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't know if I have to say it right now, but I'm so excited, not because I'm with the guys, you know, not only that, sorry, but it's because I'm going to do a deal with Refo, and I'm pretty excited because he's going to give me a really good deal, a game that I love, not only that, it's Super NES, because I'm in the Super NES hall, duh, but it's CIB Minty, and the best thing is, I know the story from that game. Who can gather a friend today? Uh, sorry, I forgot to put makeup. This is why I like digging, because you find like just random cool things, right? You don't know what it's from or anything. Look at the coolest piece, piece of paper I just found. Oh, that is cool. Look at this. Mo Comics, new comics and older comics. Clearly a Wolverine inspiration, if that's what that is. I might even get that. That's sick. All right, check it out, Tony. It looks like Tony probably from the press kit, if I'm guessing. Is, that's what it looks like. So what is it? Let's see what you got. So it looks like, yeah, a little press kit. It shows like the key supporting characters. Like you'll see like pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Wacko. Gacko. Oh, oh yeah. So this is full on just the promo kit, straight up. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I know. Really cool stuff. Let's go, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Got you guys sleeping. I found Super Mario. What are the odds, though, honestly, that that says Super Mario? <laughs> awesome. All right. 
here I am looking at some more freaking wilds. So Home Alone 3 trailer preview tape. This is what they play in the theaters before to show a trailer for it. This one, for the wedding singer, let's go. It's really hard to find these. I mean, like really, really hard. Firearm, which was a comic book that also had a VHS tape attached to it. When you read the, when you watch the movie, you go to the, fire, the comic book after that. So I found something like this before, another one. These are super, super rare and valuable. So this has like commercials from Mattel. I don't know what Circle K is. Obviously there's Circle K, the stole, the- It's a gas station. No, I know that I'm saying, but I doubt that's what this is. But maybe it is, maybe it is. But this has like commercials and previews for GAC. Flom and Smud. So I gotta figure out what these are, and maybe this is part of it, or maybe it's like something else that goes with it, I'm not sure exactly, but this is the kind of stuff that is super valuable, super one of a kind. Love the money, gotta get that money, man. Yes, sir, baby. I'm excited to do our trade, though, or, or our deal. It's gonna be a good one. Can you feel it? Feel it here. That's my money? Wait, why does it feel warm and a little squishy? Gabo, come on, let me do it. No, no, no. Oh, where? <laughs> oh! Ah, I will take you for the squat. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> well, you liked it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Who remembers these eye illusions where you gotta like look at it at a weird like angle and kind of stare at it and see what they do? Across your eyes. I can't even see it through the camera, can you? What do you see here? What is it? I don't see anything. Let me see. I see in some. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm seeing the gold. Michael Jordan. I'll take that. I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. Ricky, what do you see in there? Two. What is it, Ricky? Whoa, it's like a buffalo in front of me. Really? Yeah. Wow. Whoop, Just Darren. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Hey, look at me. I'm Ricky. Excuse me, sir. You touch it, you buy it. How heavy is that, Ricky? Is that heavy? It's a little heavy. I'm not going to lie. Let me see Gabo. Oh gosh. Is that legal to do this? Oh, he got something on it. That's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> My skull. So I came super early to that. I was so excited. I said, okay, I'm going to beat the guys. Finally, I'm coming with the eye of the tiger. And guess what? Like always, I didn't find anything until now. Perfect boot, perfect time, perfect weather, everything. I got the guy sleeping. I got the best score of the day. You know what it is, right? Trash bags! Yeah! You found them. Yes! Now I can go home! Now now I'm not sleeping with Ozzy, with How's my that dog. Line of trash bags? Is that a good line? Yeah. Is that one of the better ones? Yeah. He oh. got the he got the white sticker. So and he got the barcode, so that means they're legit. <sighs> <laughs> Boy, this makes me really want to play a game. Do you want to play a game? Dude, it's like holding my mouth. It's so tight. I can barely hear you in that thing. Yeah. I want to play a game. Look at this. Fist of the North Star, but then under here, Ricky. What is it? I think we're discovering more anime DVDs, oh, but... Oh yeah, there's a lot of them in here. But also, there are some... Oh, Dead or Alive. There we go. Right there, Dead or Alive. Oh yeah, there's a lot of anime in here. We gotta get through here a little deep. Oh yeah, look, here we go. Point. Hey, baby. I'll put this to the side. Riddick, Treasures, Namco Museum, those are fun. Light Caleb, I must say, I do love myself some of these um, combo compilation discs. Really good game. Great compilation. Oh, really Great good what? compilation. That's what you say. Compilation. I'm learning. So, I'm getting this for my NES whole collection, five bucks. The label is a little screwed up. And everything is falling from Put it in body. your hole, baby. There's Mondo Gecko for you. Ricky, what's that? Dude, it's like a battery-powered Godzilla. I think it comes out like this. Ooh. I think something's supposed to be here. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, is it a clock? No. no. He does, Ricky. So you put money right here. Yeah. And when you put it down, the money, he opens up, and his hand just goes like this and grabs the money. Oh, that's like pretty coin, cool. It's like a coin bank. It's a piggy, piggy. Yeah. Oh, it's a piggy bank? Here you go, Ricky. It looks like your hand. It does look like my hand. Oh. Ricky, what is this? Ask a Mexican. <laughs> what the? I told you to ask you, bro. I don't know what to tell you. It's a book. More games right here. Ready? Let's see. Borderlands 2. Oh, speaking of Ask a Mexican. Gabo, here's Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't have anything. <laughs> So 
So when we're at the swap meet, something happened that I wasn't expecting to happen. I wasn't expecting it to happen at all. Well, we are in the process of building a portable podcast studio all in that we can travel around with and also use at our own house at our own disposal. But one of the coolest things is we're at this booth, well, we're actually just walking by a booth and I see chairs and I'm like, we're gonna need chairs. There was four chairs. We always have four people on the show and then one off for the producing area. But I was like, four chairs, they look nice, they're clean, they're comfortable, they're not too big. And she said she would do all of them, four of them, for 50 bucks. That's a good deal. I'm excited to move forward with something like this. This is this is a wild one, by the way. We're like, this is gonna like cost us like 15 to 20 grand to do this. So we're doing it. We're all in. There's no turning back now. Made it might have been a mistake, but I hopefully not. All right, this wasn't expected, but we are building out a podcast studio, and I just saw these in here, and this is perfect. We need four chairs, and a side chair could be different, but look, four chairs, they're clean, just like this. They have arm rests, perfect for me who likes to put my leg up. This was a, a very unexpected thing, and yeah, we're building a podcast studio. It's gonna cost us, I, I literally think we're going between ten dollars to $20,000 is the estimated right now. So for these, great deal for the chairs. First build out of getting this thing going. Very nice. Whoa, whoa. There we go, baby. Thankfully, our friend Ooh. Sam. Sam, shout out your game store. Deep Ed, New Braunfels, Texas. It's the best game store in Texas. I like the beanie. Is that the same merch from your store? Yeah, it is. Let's go. Look at cheese, bro. Oh, careful. God, we put these nice chairs and Ricky's slamming the gate on them. You know how they say it. That's basically what it feels like. Jeez. <laughs> you know how they say, right? It's huh. after Ricky strikes a game. He actually took up that what, name. What? That's his name now, Disaster Gambo. So Phoenix Resale a while back gave me a copy of Sunset Riders CIB, super nice, super clean. Now when he gave it to me, he's like, I know you think this is an S tier game, I know you love the game, but I know you're also not collecting for Super Nintendo. It was a gift for 100K, but he said, listen, as I'm giving this to you, do what you need to do with it, trade it, sell it, whatever you need to do to go towards what you need. And well, what I'm doing is taking a pause once again to say thank you to one of our longest running sponsors, Squarespace, a beautiful platform on which to create your websites. One of the best features about Squarespace is the custom merch. Easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. Design your products and production and inventory. And get this, shipping is handled for you, saving you time, money, and effort. Oh, and you know time is valuable. Also, Squarespace extensions. With Squarespace extensions, you can connect your store to vetted third-party tools to extend the functionality of your website. Ooh, and member areas. Monetize your content by selling membership access to exclusive sections of your website. Okay, I, I like that a lot. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixelgamesquad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Well, what I'm doing is part of what we talked about earlier, upgrading the show. The camera that Ricky is holding right now I just spent two grand on out of my money, so I'm trying to put it towards the show, invest in better quality for the show and the podcast and stuff like that. So giving Gabo basically half off for what some sell for that are in that condition with all the inserts and everything. So thank you to Caleb, Phoenix Resale, for investing into our show. It means a lot. Go ahead, pay me, bro. I'm not rich like you guys, so you know my my bills uh, are not as beautiful as yours. So. Let's see. There you go. Really? Really? 100? Since I'm helping for the cost, here you go, an uh, extra 50. Thanks everybody for watching. Ricky, tell them thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, something super important to tell the people, really. Super important. Super important about the world. Super important about the world. Don't miss out on good chances. Always take the risk. Wait, not every time, unless it's dangerous. For my son!